Good afternoon, Blackland Prairie students and families. I am glad to be reaching out to you here on this Wednesday. I want to share some updates for our campus in regards to the distance learning this week. I want to say good job, students and parents. Last week we had 95% participation rate with the uh, distance learning and asynchronistic distance learning. I think that's the word we're utilizing. So way to go there. Parents and students know that grading is kind of being updated and a little bit different and changing for this fourth quarter. So information will come from your teacher and also the school district. So be on the lookout for that as how we're gonna progress going into this uh, last nine weeks of the school year. We did get your feedback, parents and students, about the slide deck. So realize that we will be hopefully sending them out on Sunday around noon or a little bit thereafter. So that way you have part of the weekend to look over it and then teachers will be assigning more likely the due dates for the following Sunday. So that way you have a full week to work on it and a little bit of the weekend if there is some difficulty going on during the week accessing the curriculum through Google Classroom or Seesaw. I do want to say parents, thank you for the feedback to the teachers. They are hearing positive things. I know that's one thing that makes Black Lion Prairie and our Wildcats a, a neat community is that we look at positive ways of dealing with diversity and change. And so they've been hearing great things and they've been sharing it with Sue and I about how uh, even though it's it's different, it can be a little bit difficult, you all are still being positive and giving great uh, uh, positive feedback to our teachers so that they can do good things for you and for your children. So thank you for being that great community that we are. And speaking about change, we've still been doing some professional development with Franklin Covey. As you all know, we're a lighthouse school um, through the Leader of Me process. And part of the training that we had this past week, they talked about the zone, or excuse me, the change model. And you talk about different zones that you kind of uh, travel through. Because, you know, about four weeks ago, five weeks, we were at the status quo about how things were going in a typical school setting. And all of a sudden, you know what happened. We went to this uh, uh, distance learning model. And so that's, you know, that changed. It's introduced there. Well, that during that time, we went down the zone of disruption. And we saw, like, what are we doing? What's going to happen? How should we go from there? Well, what's neat about that, though, is we went to a zone of adoption. We're figuring out how to support our kids how to support our families, and now we're coming out into a zone of innovation. So realize there is the net change uh, occurrence happening four or five weeks ago, but we're coming out of it now, getting better information about how to make things better for our students and our parents. So we're zooming back up that zone of innovation, which we are doing great things here on the Prairie and in our school district. And finally, another part they brought up this, actually this current week for our training was leaning in on habit seven, sharpening the saw. So parents and students, take the time. Right now, we've been putting a lot in our mind section of the four parts of Sharpen the Cell. We're learning a lot of new things right now, how to deal with slide decks to Google Classroom, to Seesaw, to putting things, uploading it, and you know sharing back information. So we're definitely keeping our minds strong right now. I think also with our body, they talk about you know, making sure we're taking walks and riding a bicycle if you got a chance to swim, or do whatever you can to keep your body sharp. I know our PE coaches have been sending out great things to stay active, so keep on doing that. The other two parts, though, that I want you to remember is the heart and the spirit. And when I was reviewing, you know, information about the heart, think about the emotional bank account that you have with your, your, uh, your children or your parents or your friends or colleagues. Know that, you know, we can sometimes get short during times of stress. Keep on building those relationships. Keep on giving that positivity to them. They need that from you. They know that you are their rock sometimes in situations. So look at those emotional bank accounts and make sure you're filling those buckets of the people that are closest to you. Another part of the heart you can think about is the forgiveness of self and others. I know during this time, I've been sometimes short with my kids and my spouse. And I know I can be better at that, but that's just kind of life. And so now I gotta forgive myself for making that mistake, but also then asking for forgiveness and then giving it to my children too, and my wife, if something happens at that time. So that's how you can build up the heart part. Look at the spirit, because that can mean you know different things to different people. But what I was, when I was reflecting on that part, I thought about what's my core, what's my mission in life? So I'm revisiting, am I still living to my true core values? Am I doing it every single day? And so take the time right now to look at those four areas, make sure you're keeping that balance in life because balance is best. Talk to you soon, my Black Line Prairie friends. And if you are using any of those ha uh, seven habits or the seventh habit uh, actions with mind, body, heart, spirit, go ahead and share with me via Twitter or an email. Talk to you soon.